Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Thursday, 3rd of December. The melt up continues in risk. Uh, the melt down continues in the dollar. Uh, let's see what we got out here. Pretty quiet overnight. Um, Euro touched 121.25. Here we are at 17. Big green day. Second green day yesterday. Should be some consolidation now today. Um, kind of in a sort of like 120.80, 121.50 range. Cable. Hard to be long cable, right? Smashed on the Brexit news all the way down to 132.87. Here we are 100 points higher, 133.87. This will just at the mercy of the news, but eventually this will go higher. We're just stuck in this sort of 134, 133 range. One of these days we're going to break out of it. It will be to the top side, um, but really hard to stay long cable. No dog in this fight at the moment. Dollar Swiss on its knees, just basically doing a, a slow euro. Dollar yen. Cross yen's a bit bid. We printed that interesting 75 high. Now this is an interesting perhaps double top or perhaps a break trade up through 75. Um, looks more like a double top to me. Uh, but it's hard to sell 48s now. You don't want to really leave a 30 point stop. Um, but very, very interesting print up there, 104.75. Euro yen still bid to the boots. 127.08, next interesting point. Getting a bit stretchy, stretchy now, Euro yen. Uh, but this can continue to go higher. Just kind of tracking Euro dollar strength. Dollars are not doing much. Got up to 42 yesterday. After getting down to 20, we're sitting here right in the middle of 32. Kind of waiting now. We need to see if this is going to break 50 or if this is going to break 15. Dollar max on the lows. Sort of interesting, these lows now. We got a whole cluster of them, right? One, two, three, four. Six, nineteen ninety three. This is kind of an interesting point. Crude um, sort of zipped back higher. Where are we crude these days? Forty five oh nine. Not really doing too much, but weakness in the dollar could push this thing lower. We scan way back. Some fresh air down there if we clear these lows. Interesting point down there, 19, let's call it 1990 um, dollar max. Aussie on the highs, printed 19, which kind of broke the, the old 13 highs. Getting fairly stretched here, uh, Oz. Uh, but can it go higher? Yeah, probably can. Was the end we talked about yesterday, but painful, painful price action, right? Let's, let's go over this. Bought through 10, traded up to 30, then all the way down to 85, which took us out of the game. Um, and then bang, 60 points higher, straight line. Aussie end looks pretty robust now. Are we going to visit 78.50? Sure looks like it. Kiwi stretched, but bid. CAD stretched, but offered. As you can see, gold. Uh, Played on the long side yesterday, that worked out pretty well. Um, today, 
should be resistance up at 50. This was the breakdown that we all remember. Um, looking for some sideways now in gold, sort of like a 2050 range type deal. Uh, not much to do at 36. If you're long, you just stay long. Um, you could probably sell 48 today and then maybe try and buy those back cheaper, uh, 10 or 15 bucks. But 50 should be resistance, first real serious resistance on our way back up. Equities at the all-time highs here, give or take 10 handles. Bid, bid, bid. Stretched, stretched, stretched. Reminds me of, uh, I guess what, January this year. Um, these sort of December, January, stretchy moments. We were at 33.90 now, now we're at 36.60. Um, low vol, shorts, getting stopped out every day, stretchy, fragile market. That's what we got here. This is going to end in tears in the same way it did here in, in February and March. I don't know what the catalyst is going to be, maybe higher rates, but probably not going to be today. Um, but this is, looks very stretched. ZB crushed, offered, sell high ones. ZN crushed, offered, sell high ones. Um, and Bitcoin consolidating now at the highs. This is still going to go higher now. Um, stay core long Bitcoin. If you tried to tidy up and sell 19s and buy 16s and you didn't get given, um, you should just buy those back. Bitcoin's going to head higher. As you can see, the charts aren't lending much. I guess Dollar Max is the most important chart out there. Um, we're just quietly watching and waiting now uh, as far as new tactical trades. Let's see what the calendar says. What do we got here? Not too much. We got uh, final services PMI out of Europe, which is mildly interesting. And final services PMI out of America, but these are final numbers. Calendar looks pretty light. We got the unemployment numbers tomorrow, which will be more jazzy. Um, you want to range trade gold, you can sell up at 50, you could buy down at 20, uh, and look for consolidation in the rest. So this is basically looking for a rangy day. Euro, let's call it 90-40. Cable, let's call it 70-20. Um, you see what we're trying to get at here. Uh, rangy, consolidative day. Watching the news flow to see if and when risk tips, but we are not short yet. We need price to confirm. It's going to be a boring open for us today, kind of in the back seat. Um, let's see what things, let's see what the market gives us today. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. Good luck out there. Uh, I will uh, talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.